Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to discuss to you about the zodiac signs and the planets association or relation with the directions. Okay, so a lot many people who have the knowledge on Vastu, they will be able to relate with what I'm saying. Okay, so which is the zodiac sign related to which direction is what we'll be talking about. Okay, so I'll not be talking about southwest or east, uh, you know, northeast or northwest or something. I don't want to confuse you. I'll just give you one direction specific specific for your zodiac sign. Okay, for Aries zodiac sign, it is east and for Taurus zodiac sign, it is south. For Gemini zodiac sign, it is west and Cancer zodiac sign, it is north. Okay, so if you take the birth chart starting from Aries to Pisces, you have to give the numbering you have to give the direction as from east, south, west and north, east, south, west and north, east, south, west and north. Okay, so, so three zodiac signs are associated with east, which are nothing but Aries, Leo as well as Sagittarius. Three zodiac signs are related with south, which are Taurus, then Virgo and uh, Capricorn. And three zodiac signs are related with West, which are Gemini, your Libra, as well as Aquarius. Three zodiac signs associated with North, which is nothing but Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So you got to you got to understand which is your luckiest direction. So I don't want to get into you know too much technicalities because I understand most of the my viewers are very basic in nature. So I'd like to restrict with only one direction. So this direction will be obviously will be fruitful for you. But of course, we have to see the nature of the planet sitting in, the di in, in that specific birth chart of yours to understand about what is your favorite direction. Okay. And we have to take the positive planets into consideration. We have to check the nakshatras associated with that specific planet. We have to see which direction the planet is sitting, whether that planet is providing the positive results. What is the Ashtakavarka score? How much is the Dibhala score? How much is the Shambhala score? All those things we have to take into consideration. Now, not only in the, from the D1 chart, we have to check from the D9 chart, we have to check from the D10 chart, and also we have to check from the D2 chart if at all you are talking about the wealth. If at all you are talking about the career, I have to check the D10 chart. Okay? So, depending upon the question, the analysis keep changing across. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching this video. This is a short bite about the directional strength. To specific to your zodiac sign and also let me give you the planets as well okay so aries and scorpio uh, zodiac signs are related with planet mars so that means for mars planet east is good and at the same time north is good okay and whereas for taurus zodiac sign and for libra zodiac sign uh, you know the south is good as well as west is good okay that means for venus and for Mercury, okay, Mercury have two zodiac signs as a lordship. So basically for Gemini, West is good, as well as for, for Virgo, oh, I mentioned to you, South is good. So for Mercury, West and South, okay. And similar way for Cancer zodiac sign, no doubt about it, North direction is good. And for Sun, it's associated with Leo zodiac sign, East is good, okay. Everybody know that for Sun, obviously, East is the best direction. And, uh, and the planets associated with uh, you know Jupiter, like Sagittarius and Pisces, zodiacs and Lordship. Obviously, east and north will be good direction, and for Saturn, west and south will be the good direction because it is associated with Aquarius and Capricorn zodiac sign. Okay, so this is the directional strength to specific planet and the specific zodiac sign. So check it out from your birth chart which zodiac sign that you belongs to. What is your sun sign? What is your moon sign? Where are the planets sitting? What are the nakshatras your planets are receiving? And based on that, you can even calculate your lucky direction. Okay. So with that, I'll take a leave. Thank you so much for watching this video. If at all you need your astrological consultation, the link is mentioned in the description section. Do book for an astrological consultation. Once I get a consultation order, I'll be able to help you with a complete analysis, but I need to all the nine planets in your birth chart and I can provide you the prediction analysis, but I need to get okay so please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and please stay tuned with my videos more videos are coming up thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video